Hey guys, so today we're going to be hooking up a laptop so that it can run uh, Android apps. You might be thinking, okay, well how are you going to do that? Is there like some, some emulator or something? No, there's actually a whole operating system um, that Google has created like, a, like an API, I guess, for. And then people have used that to create an operating system. So the specific operating system we're going to be installing today is called Remix OS. And so uh, it's, not that, it's not that difficult to install. It's relatively tech savvy, you can do it. It's not that hard. Um, so we're going to be installing it on this 32 gig USB 3.0 drive. Uh, we need at least 20 megabits per second write for this program to work properly. So basically, you're using a flash drive as your boot drive and everything. So this is going to be the actual drive that the operating system is running off of. So you want it to be relatively fast. And then in terms of what PC you're going to be running it on, we're going to be running it on this guy. This is a 15 inch, this is a Toshiba Satellite 15 inch, I believe. Um, so this is one of those 360 laptops you can go like this with and such. Um, so this has a Core i7-6600HQ or something like that. So it's a quad-core Skylake i7 and 16 gigs of RAM and the 1080p touch screen, which would be kind of nice to see how that works in terms of, because Android is meant to be ran, run on touch-based devices. Remix OS has a few tweaks added to it in terms of it's not just like regular Android. Um, you can actually t run multiple apps at once and window them and pin them to different sections. Uh, you'll see how it works when we get installed. So we're going to install it, it's not that hard. Um, I'll have links below to how to do this stuff. I'm not going to really do a tutorial because that's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, I am going to kind of do a quick little run through of how I install it. So first you're going to download it from their website. Um, remember this is an alpha, I think, or it might have been, yeah, I think it's an alpha. So if you're running into issues, it's not going to be completely, completely sorted out yet. It's, it's still an alpha. Um, so you're going to download it from their website and then you want to extract it. And then once you've extracted it, you're going to image it onto your disk. And for us, that disk will be the SanDisk Ultra. Um, then you basically just plug it into your computer and you go into your BIOS and set it to your boot device. And then you boot from that and then you're in. And that's how that works. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out Remix OS now. I did format this drive before I put the um, the operating system on it. I thought it would just format it when I when I when I wrote the image to it, but it didn't. So some of the junk that came with this from the factory, like their their like tools or whatever they had in here, it was still on there, and I think that was causing the problem. So we're gonna try this again. But we're gonna try it. Uh, I formatted it before I imaged the operating system to it. So let's try it again. Almost just dropped my phone. <laughs> okay, whoops. So I was having some issues installing it on our Toshiba laptop because I don't know. It, it runs. It runs Windows 10 just fine, but for some reason, uh, Remix OS didn't want to boot into it. So it would give me like initializing, like it was trying to start the OS, but it wasn't working. Um, so I tried a few things. Uh, I thought that maybe it was some of the stuff that came on the flash drive that I hadn't deleted. It wasn't, um, it wasn't working. So then I tried it on my desktop, and what do you know, it worked. But then when I had to restart it, it didn't work. So I was kind of like, what? Okay, that is, that's weird. Anyway, so I have now this, um, this Asus laptop, that was my first laptop. Uh, it has a Celeron and four gigs of RAM, so it's not anywhere near as powerful as the other two, but we're still gonna try it on here. So I don't think there's any screen recording software that works for uh, Remix OS, so I guess I'm just gonna have to point the camera at the screen and this is the best I can do. Um, so as you can see, the Play Store works just like the Play Store. So you can get apps, you can get games, you can get everything. It works just like how you'd expect. Um, the difference is they're Android apps, but you can run them windowed. So I can drag that over to the side, it takes up that much space, and then I can, you know, run multiple things. Here's a downloads folder. It also has like a kind of cool little, uh, you know, settings area. So it's not quite regular Android. It's a little bit different, um, but it, it's pretty cool. So I just downloaded a game on here, and we're gonna see how well it runs on um, a relatively a little bit not quite as powerful as it could be uh, CPU. So this isn't the most demanding game ever, but it's definitely it, it takes some resources. So we're gonna try this. Look at that, it's running. Okay, cool. Alright. 
tap to start. So as you can see, it's running this game just fine. So that's a bit of a look at Remix OS for uh, PC. So if you have an old like laptop or something or an old desktop and you want to use it to, it can't run your Windows applications that you want anymore, uh, try throwing Remix OS on it. It's kind of a fun, fun little thing to do. Uh, as you can see, it's still an alpha. I might revisit this video in a while when they update a little bit more because it wouldn't run on two of my devices even though I had a fast enough flash drive for it. It did end up running on my laptop all right though. So you kind of got to see what it can do. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can hit like. And if you didn't like it, you can I guess you can hit dislike. And then I'd like to know why. Uh, because, you know, if you tell me what I was doing wrong, then I can fix it in the future. Uh, and if you really liked it, you can subscribe. Oh, and big thanks for hitting 200 subs. We just hit 200 subs um, a few days ago as of me making this video. So thank you guys for that. And if you want to help that sub count go up, you can hit that subscribe button. That'd be cool. Uh, I will try to probably revisit this topic in a little while when they've updated Remix OS a little bit more so that I can run it on my other devices. Um, but it's kind of cool that you can run Android apps on Intel processors. It doesn't work for AMD at the moment, but x86 based processors uh, that are Intel will work, usually. Uh, so try it out, give it a test, and also you can blow through benchmarks if you run an Android benchmark. Um, you can get some really high scores. So you can kind of be like, huh, oh, look at me, I'm cool. I guess, maybe. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye. Oh, I had one quick little question. So, my channel has been Jeevan32 for a long time. And I have that as my intro and my outro and my username and my banner and everything. Everything is Jeevan32. But when people ask me about my YouTube channel and they see it, they don't know how to pronounce it. They don't know what it means. They don't know what the number is. G like people say Gevin, Givon, J Jevin. They don't, know, they don't know what it is. And then the 32 is, doesn't really mean anything at all. So I was wondering, I've created a poll if you guys want to click the little I. Is it in that corner or that corner? It's probably in that corner, I'm thinking. Uh, I've created a poll you can vote. Do you want my channel to say Jeevan32 like it's been forever? Or do you want me to change it to just Gavin Remy, my name? Um, I'm thinking about doing that because it just makes more sense to me than some weird name, I guess. But I might not because I have to change all of my banners and everything. So you can vote uh, at the poll, at the little I in the corner. Um, and even if you guys vote, whatever you guys vote, I don't know, I might still change it, even if you say not to. Or I might not change it if, if you say to. But I'd like some input from you guys. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, now I'm actually going to go.